A spiritual woman is the greatest threat to the status quo. The fruit she will bear, the power she has access to. Hey, gems, welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know what I'm gonna title this video yet, but I did want to record a video um, pretty much introducing you all to what I am currently creating, um, of course, except for life. <laughs> but um, my relaunch of Gem Stylistic is coming up very soon. And um, I'm relaunching by having a ceremony that is very dear to my heart like I actually came up with the idea when I was still in Ghana I kept thinking of something to do to honor mothers to honor women and the idea came to me while I was in a deep silence like I was still living with my children's father of course but we had recently have a big argument so I kind of just went into a shell I wasn't speaking to him he wasn't really speaking to me and we were just coexisting at the time and all I did was journal every day I was journaling just my thoughts just everything that was coming to my head just based on everything that was happening to me then and for the past year I was just writing it down, writing, writing, writing. Every day I was writing. By the end of like a week and a half, I had like 20 something pages in my journal just written out. But throughout that time of silence, I kept thinking of this, creating a space for women, for mothers to not only honor each other, but to feel safe and secure because at the time I did not feel safe, at the time I was not feeling secure. And I just got the urge, like it, the thought just wouldn't go away. But every time I thought about it, St. Croix was the only place I could see myself doing something like this. Through all of that, I gave pretty much birth to this idea of having an honor our mother's ceremony. And this is pretty much the start of the next part of Gem Solistic I've always known I would be creating. So I'm actually going to insert my new logo somewhere here on the screen and I'll also insert like a copy of my invitation. It is an invite only event but um, this is just the beginning of something way bigger that I want to create. However, I have to start small, I have to start where I am and I'm okay with that. So pretty much my new brand well my new logo as you can see it is a picture of a woman which kind of is a representation of myself because i actually use a picture that i took and i'll probably insert that picture here too a picture that i took when i was pregnant with my second son and um the posture and um the way i was posing in the picture i used that to uh as a as an example of how I wanted the woman in my logo to be seating and the, the, the woman that designed my logo she um, actually did my first logo and she pretty much blew me away with what she came up with based on the ideas I had in my head she literally brought it to life all I did was send her the pictures I told her what I wanted. I want the woman sitting in a lotus flower. I told her my colors and I told her what I want it to say and she pretty much created exactly what I I had in my mind, like the vision I had in my mind. And I'm so thankful for her because she don't even know how much I love that logo. And she was actually pregnant when she was creating it, which makes it even more special to me. But um it's now going to be called Gems Holistic Lifestyle and Womb Wellness. And the lifestyle and womb wellness is added because when I created Gems Holistic, it was always supposed to be about a lifestyle. It's not just about natural products. It's about 
living a holistic and natural lifestyle in every aspect which is what the word holistic means in the first place you look at the whole you don't just look at one aspect of health so throughout the cup i would say in the past year and a half or so i did some trainings i did a, a woman intensive herb course to you know gain more knowledge in herbs that are great for womb health for women's health and um just my path in becoming more of a herbalist um, i got certified in that i also did a fertile womb lifestyle specialist training so i'm now certified in that i just want to have all the tools under one roof where not only am i offering products but i'm also offering a service to actually help women one-on-one -on -one to get their wombs back into a state of health that would allow them to you know have a healthy moon cycle and conceive without any interference with you know medical doctors so i'm not saying that those things aren't needed in terms of the medical world i'm just saying that sometimes or even most times like trying a holistic approach in terms of changing your whole lifestyle helps and you know sometimes people aren't willing to do that or don't have the tools and knowledge and resources they need to do that and I want to be that for those women who actually want to do that so like I'm not I'm not looking to just change people I want women who wants to change for themselves to seek um, to come to me to, so that I can help guide them through that process so even from my own experiences and difficulties that I have I know that um, I know that the methods that I've learned and implemented in my own life works and I can get into a whole nother video in terms of certain things that I personally went through that I had to change in order to heal myself so I'm just excited to bring that aspect of my passion to my brand and um, so yes this is pretty much me rewriting my own story rewriting my narrative and putting my focus into something that I am passionate about that I'm sincere about that I genuinely want to grow into something bigger in the future so I'm starting with my honor honor our mother ceremony where I invited I pretty much invited women who have had some type of significance at some point in, in my life. And that's from birth till now. So I will be honoring those women. And then I also invited women and their daughters and giving their daughters the opportunity to honor their mother. So of course I'll be honoring my mother and then I'll be honoring the other women that I, you know, invited for that purpose being that maybe they did something for me at some point in my life that meant so much to me that i don't know how i maybe would have gotten through without them or whatever the case may be um so that's the gist of the ceremony and you know i'm actually doing it I, i'm actually putting a lot into this like i want it to be a nice intimate yet elegant ceremony so I did get a decorator and um, you know I ordered some stuff I'm creating my own gift boxes uh, what else <laughs> uh, I'm having my um, sister and her boyfriend has a food business where they'll be catering healthy alkaline vegan meals it's gonna be a three-course meal like I'm going all out in the capacity that I can <laughs> So it's going to be actually a really nice event. I'm encouraging everybody to dress like the goddess, the empress, the queen that they are. Look nice and just feel nice and feel great. I am so excited for it. Like a part of me is overwhelmed because I'm like, how am I going to get all of this done by May? But I am really like, it's something that I really want to do. And I don't even know how to explain to people why I feel like I need to do this. But it's literally something that just came to me. And it came on so strong that I know I need to do it. So I'm actually having the event on my er 
worked strong on my solar return may 21st and why my solar return not as a gift not as something like i'm having a party for myself but that the gift in this is me actually honoring the mothers like i am really like i genuinely and i really am excited to do this so like what other day best to do this than my solar return as a gift to myself and um i don't even mean that in a selfish way because the event is not for me it's for mothers like it's for all of us so and in fact like i don't have anyone at that event honoring me like i'm literally honoring everybody else i'm putting everything into this event so after everything i've been through i feel like as mothers a lot of times we just go unnoticed like People expect us to be strong. People expect us to do this, to be um, take care of the children when they're sick and go to the school events and do like people like we're automatically put in that category to just have it together. And sometimes it gets hard. Sometimes we need a break. Sometimes we need help. Sometimes we need support. And sometimes we just want to hear that we're doing a good job. <laughs> and if I can create a space where for one night mothers just feel loved on and they feel honored and they're, they're happy and I like that's that's a great feeling to me and I'm excited to put that event on and I hope that everything goes as planned because I've literally been planning everything from since I got down here because I don't want anything to fall off I don't want anything to be too last minute so I've been writing down everything and making sure I'm as organized as possible. And there's so much more to it that I probably can't just go into all the details right now in this video. But I created, I had already started creating so much to put into this even when I was in Ghana. I created this whole um, ebook called um, Kitchen Sweep Challenge where I write down step by step how to transform your kitchen into a healthy laboratory so instead of just being a kitchen your that that space turns into your medicine cabinet pretty much so you're eating to live instead of living to eat if that makes sense so i wrote that um i also have a healthy moon cycle template for women to um on tips and things that they can do to you know create a healthier moon cycle for themselves and then i'm also creating a meal plan for people who just don't know what to eat. I may not be able to accomplish everything before I have the baby, but trust me, I'm not stopping. So, um, yes, this is the start of Gems Holistic Lifestyle and Womb Wellness. And, um, oh, I'm also adding Yoni Steams to that, you know, because all of that comes into womb health and having a healthy moon cycle. You know, there's a whole nother aspect of self-care that I want women to start to embrace more. So, yes, that's it um, for this video. I'm just excited for this new journey I'm on. I've been feeling so much better. And yes, I have my bad days. I do. I really do. I don't want anyone to think that I don't have my bad days because I am still processing. I am still healing. And I am still trying to come to terms with my new reality, but I am still embracing it as well. And I'm just excited to even have the opportunity to create something better, to create something new, and to provide for myself and my babies, and um, live life, really. like It doesn't really matter where you are in the world, but that state of mind, your environment is what's most important. If you're not happy, if you're not at peace, if you're not loved, like those things take a toll on you. If you are miserable, it doesn't matter. Your location does not matter. So I'm just happy to be here and happy to be around people that love and respect me. That's all. Anyways, that is all for this video. I hope I made sense in all of this, but, um, yeah, a good friend of mine actually reminded me of something I used to say at the end of my video, and I think I should start saying it again. So, to all of my copper, 
color women watching protect your womb by any means necessary and to everybody watching protect your peace by any means necessary i wish you all love light and prosperity and you'll see me in my next video peace i am the keeper of the gate a seer of the way a seeker of the fullness in the future